Hello, my name is Nick Gorman. I'm an instructor for the Morristown Golf Tech. Just wanted to go over a couple things that would call bit, cause big pushes and pull draws on the golf course. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and fast forward to impact, right? and we'll see a lot of the main causes. Uh, one, there's going to be some low turn numbers. right? That's going to cause the three-dimensional swing path to go out to the right which would cause uh, more of a draw. You're also going to see that the handle has raised and gone backwards. So why is this a big deal? Well, for one, it's going to actually point the club face more to the left. As you can see, the rod on that club face is actually starting to point left. Now, if I keep this going, what you'll notice is the hands are going to exit high and to the right and the face is going to close even more to the three-dimensional path. So this is a better, this is a flaw you see in a lot of better players. Uh, the exit path is too far to the right and <clears throat> due to the handle almost screwdrivering so to speak, uh, it's, it causes a really big uh, difference in club face. One second it could be pointing five degrees left, the next minute it could be square to the, square to the target line, uh, the next minute it could be almost anywhere from seven to eight degrees open. Uh, it's all about timing. So as you can see it would be very confusing and troublesome to most players. So I'm going to play this through to the finish. All right, so let's take note of a couple things. One, let's look at where the arms are. Right, they're very high, and also the note the turn numbers, as well as the shoulder bend. So let's look at what a prototypical uh, golf swing would be that would cause a minimal push with little to no curve. So again, if I play this through to impact, you can see. The handle really hasn't moved a whole lot, if at all. Right. Still the same height. Right. And it has, if anything, has moved a little bit forward. This is going to allow my path to stay right and the club face to stay right. So that way I have a predictable ball that starts to the right and barely draws. Now at this point you're going to notice a big difference. One, the turn numbers are going to be a lot higher. The bend numbers are going to be a little bit different at that point. And if I keep playing it through, the hands exit much lower. The turn numbers actually get to be a lot higher. And the shoulder bend is close to being a little bit higher as well. So let's play these through side by side. So again, there's the player early extending back, the hands rolling, which would shift the swing path further most to the right, and the club face would have the most variance, versus this player who would turn more, still extend, right? So if we show those numbers at that point. And this is where it's really interesting to note the difference in the hand path. You're going to see that this player's hands stay much lower, right? much more tracing a tight arc around their body, whereas this player's are going to continue to rise. And that's due to not turning as much and bending it a lot. So how would a player work on this? Well, for one, Pull up another video real quick. Bear with me, I might goof this one up. Oh, I did. Shocker. Technical difficulties, please stand by. So this would be the poor swing on the left, and this would be the good swing on the right. 
So a couple things to take note of. <clears throat> One would be the exit. Right, notice how the hands have rolled. You can see the extension in the body as well. So there's that old big draw, pull draw, big push. And on this side, you're going to see a big difference in the exit of the hands as well as the face. All right, so some pretty cool things to look at especially when you're practicing, is where the arms sort of exit. Uh, a good thought process would be to, is to not have the hands go above the chest. Right, we saw in the first one where those ones kept rising. Now, the next thing to work on would be the left wrist. As you can see, that one's almost facing up towards the sky at that point whereas this wrist is pointing over here. So if you struggle with this, try hitting some golf balls with tees under your arms, uh, as well as putting a basket just to the right of your golf ball. So that way you can't clear way high and out to the right. And as always, if you need help with anything else, don't hesitate to contact your local golf professional.